Hello and welcome to video number two. We're going to talk about planning, brainstorming, and preparation. So let's go right ahead and do some quick planning and prep work. Here's a quick overview of what we're going to be discussing in this specific video. We're going to talk about your sales funnel because it's important to know how you're going to deliver your content. We're going to talk about branding, we're going to talk about how long will your membership site last and the delivery plan. Every one of these pieces are components that work together. Let's talk about the basic sales funnel. How are you going to deliver your product from the point of the person landing on the sales page to going to the PayPal button to getting delivered the content? Normally, this is what it looks like. Somebody goes to your sales page, they click on the PayPal subscription button. It can be monthly, it could be weekly, and so forth. Then they are after that, they pay, they're sent to the thank you page, which includes the autoresponder sign up. And then through the autoresponder, they are delivered products through the autoresponder. So that's what the basic fixed term membership site looks like. Now, if you were to get a little more complicated and add a sales funnel with a one-time offer, then it would look like this. You have a sales page, they get on the sales page, they click the PayPal button, and then they, after that, they see a one-time offer that says, hey, hold on, we've got a one-time offer here. If they go purchase it, then they get sent to the one-time offer thank you page with the autoresponder, or if they say no, then they're going to be sent to the regular thank you page. Then after that, the products get delivered through the autoresponder. So if you add a one-time offer, it does make it a little more complicated, but it's really not that bad. But in this specific video series, I'm gonna talk about the sales funnel in relation to a basic sales funnel with no one-time offer. So this is important to know just so that you can put all the pieces together and know exactly what you need to do. Branding. There are different ways that you can brand your fixed term membership site. What most of you are going to probably do is use the umbrella method, which basically means that you have one brand that covers this whole fixed term membership site. Now, if your membership site is about, let's say, selling products or something, then you might want to have a specific brand, but brand each individual new product. So what I'm trying to get at here is make you plan ahead, make, make you understand how to plan ahead, make you understand how to brand your fixed term membership site so that it sticks within the customer's mind. So how are you gonna brand this? That's, that's a big question that you need to ask yourself because once you begin to run your fixed term membership site, your brand is gonna be out there, people are going to hear about you, either good things or bad things, so you definitely need to have a good brand so that you can build that brand and sell in the future. Then you're gonna to need to know how long your membership site will last. Now, what you can do initially is when you gather all the content and see how much content you have, what kind of content you might need to add, then that will tell you how long your membership site will last realistically. You could have six weeks of content. You could have six to 12 months worth of products. It really depends on your audience and who is buying your products. For example, if your audience just wants super quick information, they don't want anything long, they just want five minutes of this and that, then maybe you could do a daily thing, a daily thing of five minutes, uh, one video, which, which is two to five minutes or two to three minutes, something quick. So it really depends on your audience. You gotta think to yourself, what would my audience want? And another good way to figure that out is to look at your competitors. Uh, what are your competitors doing? What are competitors doing that is working? And what are competitors doing that is not working? If you understand all of this, then it'll make it easier for you to figure out how 
long your membership site will last because it varies differently from niche to niche, from topic to topic, and from market to market. So figure that out, and once you figure how much content you have and how long it'll last, then you can understand your delivery plan. And that's very, very easy. It just follows through with the same thing. You can do daily, X number days, weekly, every two weeks, every X weeks, monthly, and so forth. And once you understand your delivery plan, then when you set up your autoresponder, then all you have to do is create a new follow-up for every one of those days, those X days, those weeks, and so forth. And then daily is probably overkill unless it's small bite-sized quality content, like I said earlier. So depends on your audience. And weekly is good if it's actionable content. Most people are not going to have time to do something you know every single day uh, but they'll definitely have time to do it every single week so like i said think about your audience think about your competitors and then create a plan from that point point. 